Hey there, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and work with sketched bands. First thing we need, of course, is a sketch. So let's get busy. Right click on base flange one, select sketch, and let's place a line from this edge to this edge. We'll smart dimension it at 10 millimeters and accept. Now let's exit our sketch. With the sketch selected, activate the Sketched Bend tool. Here it is. Our first job is to select the fixed or stationary face. And I'm going to select this face here. The selection is shown by the black dot in the graphic area right here. Now we can choose the bend position. We've got four options to choose from that allow us to position the bend. Bend center line, material inside, material outside, and bend outside. Down here we choose the bend angle and the bend direction. Here we can specify a custom bend radius or use the default radius. In this section we specify a custom bend allowance. Let's accept. And here's our sketched bend. Let's edit sketch 2. So we'll right click, edit sketch, and let's insert another line here. I'm going to drop it about here and then exit the sketch. As you see, SolidWorks does let us use dangling lines as I've just done. But if something is possible, it doesn't mean, however, that it's a good idea. Let's go back and edit our sketch. Right click on sketch 2, edit sketch, and let's adjust this line. Here we go. Let's change this dimension, make it 5 millimeters. Click accept, and let's exit our sketch. Now I'm going to make some changes to the sketched bend. I'm going to change the bend radius to 7 millimeters. Tab to register, there's the preview. Let's change the position option to material inside. Now warning bells should be going off because we don't have a preview anymore. Why is this? Well, the reason for this is because the two bends are now interfering with each other and this prevents SolidWorks from calculating the bend. Let's change the bend position option to bend outside and here's our preview, accept. Now when I try to edit the individual bends, we're able to edit the order of the bend, and we can specify a custom bend allowance. This concludes our video about working with sketched bends. We'll see you back in a moment. 